My feet are my most ticklish spot and I get tickled there a lot. It's one of my favorite things about being a gymnast. One day at practice, one of my teammates and I decided to have a handstand contest. Two more teammates thought it would be a fun idea to tickle our feet and see who could hold yourself up the longest. I think I only lasted about 10 or 15 seconds before I finally lost control and fell over. My teammate lasts much longer than me, but eventually came crashing down next to me. We were both laughing our heads off. My coach, who is usually all work and no play, watched us and thought it was cute. When I was growing up, I found out that my mom's worst ticklish spot were her feet. She had a strong athletic figure, but couldn't help laughing helplessly whenever I playfully tickled her feet. The fact that she was extremely ticklish there and acknowledged it made it all the more fun, and I even used to wake her up by sneaking my hand under the blanket and tickling her footsies. Great memories, my toes are the absolute most ticklish place on my body. Every guy that has ever shown interest in me has always found some reason or another to tickle my feet, making me squirm and giggle. Torturous, but so much fun. My feet are definitely the most ticklish part of my body. And the fact my husband knows this makes it even worse. One time, he rolled my over on my stomach and sat on my legs so I could not move at all. Then proceeded to remove my shoes and socks. Being barefoot and completely helpless, he then pulled out a feather and started to tickle the bottoms of feet. I honestly could not have laughed any harder. I really do have insanely ticklish feet. It was all good fun though. My feet are literally so ticklish, even the threat of them being tickled drives me crazy. I can't even walk around without socks just in case someone decides to tickle me. My family still find ways to tickle me though and find it hilarious to sneak into my room and tickle my bare feet whilst I'm sleeping. So I was at one of my friend's houses and his sister that is my age 16 likes me. I was over having a sleepover and his sister invited one of her friends over. So during the middle of the night my friend's sister Josie and her friend Sophie came downstairs and tied me up on the couch with duct tapes and ropes. When I woke up they were both sitting on top of me tickling my neck, ribs, sides, and underarms. They kept tickling me for at least 3 hours and I could make them stop. The only way I could make them stop was by agreeing that I would kiss both of them on the lips for 2 minutes. I refused to kiss them but they kept tickling me and tickling me. I finally gave in and kissed them. If you know me you can make me do anything if you tickle me. Once I was over at my boyfriend's house for his birthday and he had a couple of his friends over and they are on the football team and they are really strong. I was laying down on the couch and my boyfriend was rubbing my feet and his fingers slipped in between my toes. I didn't even know I was ticklish but I squirmed and screamed. He yelled for his friends and they held me down while he tickled me daddy tickled me for about 1 hours and I was dying. So now every time I go to his house I always make sure that he doesn't try and tickle me. I am so wicked ticklish on the middle of the arch of my feet. Once on a sleepover with my friend Carrie, she would sit me and pin my feet down and she tickled the middle of my feet with her electric toothbrush I really couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't get up to go to the bathroom but Carrie wouldn't let go of my foot I was like let go of my foot Carrie was like no way I almost made it, but I fell down laughing. Carrie was like get over here you goofball I was like no you are the goofball. But the minute, Carrie went top of me everywhere including my ribs, my tummy and belly button, underarms neck, thighs even behind my knee I could stop laughing like crazy. We had a great time, but when I had the hiccups from laughing she would always do the tickle cure. It was the best sleepover, I was really lucky to have Carrie as a great friend, I really love it when she tickles me all the time especially when I get in a grumpy mood she would always cheer me up with tickling all the time. My friend didn't seem to have ticklish feet. The feathers eventually broke her. First I tickled her socked feet. No reaction. Then I took her socks off and tickled, and all I got out of her was a smile. I then challenged her to last 5 minutes while tied up. I tied her knees, ankles, and big toes together. I then used a feather. She chuckled lightly on the heels and arches, giggled on the soles, she has soft feet even for a girl, but then came her toes. When I tickled under them and she laughed and curled her toes. When I tickled between her toes with a feather, she laughed hard and, curled, wiggled, flexed and spread her toes as she laughed hysterically. Sometimes now when she is barefoot, I tickle her toes. Okay for some reason my lower arms, between elbow and wrist, are really sensitive. One day me and my friend were talking and she absentmindedly started to run her long, sharp nails gently up my arm. I giggled and moved my arm away. She smiled triumphantly, she was on a quest to work out where I was ticklish and she had only found two so far. And whispered does that tickle? 
I nodded. She now does that every time she wants me to stop annoying her, to stop talking or to get her way. If you enjoy the video please press like. Or, if you haven't already, then subscribe if you want to see more like this.